Okay, this is pretty yeah. shocking stuff. So you send a liberal journalist down there, he comes back saying, Trump is right. That's right. They so we said, you got to go down there with no preconceived what? notions, right? Just an empty notebook. Go to my former home state right. or my, you know, and, and, and walk the border, drive the border 800 miles and talk to whoever you see and, and let them tell us what they think about what's really going on and whether we need a wall, in fact. Instead of hearing it from the debate stage, let's yeah. hear it from the people who are doing it. And the people say, day. build the wall. They said build the wall. They said two things, whether it was Hispanic, Anglo, Democrat, Republican, uncommitted, clueless, whatever. They said we want a wall, and yet we want it to be married with some compassion toward the people that we're trying to Here's another keep surprising from thing from the, the article is that he said that Hispanics were less sympathetic towards illegal yeah. immigrants than whites. So I think that there's a lot of interesting yes, things friction, there. Probably. But one thing I think is that most of the Hispanics are first generation, and they see it is unfair that they came over here the legal way, became citizens, and now they're having to compete for jobs with those who are coming across the border on a daily basis, right? So I think they feel, as one guy says, that let them get in line, right? Yeah. Um, I think the, the the Anglos have most, for the most part, probably grown up in the tradition of the West, which is a place of welcoming immigrants through its history, and their attitude is more that that should be an honored thing today. Yeah. I think they also think, oddly, that, you know, the more well uh, the well, well enforced if it, if it, if the laws are enforced right. that compassion will prevail